Here's a fun fact. This is a park. Even though you would only have to change one letter to completely change the word and make it a vulgarity, which means love making. It is not a vulgarity that means love making. It is just but a park and it's used to play ice hockey. Here's another fun fact. This is to sit, to adopt or be in a position in which one's weight is supported by one's backside rather than one's feet and while one's back is upright. However, all it would take to change the meaning of the word sit to a vulgarity that means a bowel movement would be to add one letter. But absent that one letter, to sit is neither a vulgarity nor does it mean a bowel movement. It is but the act of adopting a position of resting one's weight upon one's bottom. The country of Niger is a country in West Africa, just south of Algeria and Libya, west of Chad, north of Nigeria and east of Mali. Just like a park or seat or any other innocent combination of letters, it is not a vulgarity. But let's face it, if you change the spelling of the word Niger in any way, either by adding, subtracting or changing letters, it would no longer mean a country in West Africa, just as changing the spelling of any other word changes the meaning of that word. So, how did Niger end up with a name that is confused, a far-fetched confusion I might add, with a racial slur? There's been some wild speculation in Western academia that the name may have stemmed from the Latin N-I-G-E-R word for black. Again, pushing for some sort of connection between the degrading, hateful insult for blacks, the N-word, and this vast country. Let's break it down. Everyone must have seen Niger hit headlines recently due to a widely popular coup that ousted a French stooge from office. But the pronunciations of the country have been varied as chalk and cheese, from Niger to Niger to Niger. The exact etymology of the word Niger is unknown. Many scholars believe it comes from the phrase Geren Geren, which means big river or sea in the Tamashek language, a variety of Tuareg, a Berber language widely spoken by nomadic tribes across North Africa, or as translated into Arabic, river among rivers. Unsurprisingly then, the country of Niger shares its name with an actual river, which happens to be the third longest river in Africa, shorter only than the Nile and the Congo. The Niger River slithers through a landlocked section of West Africa. It flows from the Futajalon highlands of Guinea, plunges suicidally northwards towards the Sahara through Mali, but changes course at Gao, goes down along the Benin border and Nigeria, in addition to, of course, Niger. So significant is this 4,200 kilometer long river that not one but two countries got their names from it, Niger and its southern neighbor, Nigeria. You see, they not only share a common geographic location and named after the same river, but the names of these two nations are exactly the same, except that Nigeria has its very present ear suffix to differentiate it from Niger. Many nations are named after rivers that run through them, but this is one of the few exceptions where a river gives its name to two nations, the only other example being the Democratic Republic of the Congo and the Republic of the Congo being named after the Congo River. As far as logic goes, as long as you pronounce the name of anything connected with the Niger River correctly, you will not offend anyone because it will be clear what you're referring to. The name of the Niger River and the N-word racial slur in question aren't even derived from the same source. For Africans, including people of African descent globally, it must be bewildering that that word is muscling its way into the lexicon, prompting sharp intakes of breath, embarrassed silences, euphemisms, and lots and lots of heated discussion. This time, people who either don't know better or are hell-bent on drawing a non-existent racial comparison are trying to associate one of the harshest racial slurs with the great country of Niger. There are white racists who use the N-word because they are, well, white racists. There are also younger black people who have embraced the N-word as a hip term of endearment. But despite the progress to kill the N-word, we may have to resign ourselves to the idea that this pesky racist word sadly isn't going away anytime soon. 
Since the transatlantic slave trade, it has appeared in almost everything, from ugly propaganda to cartoons to nursery rhymes. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo didn't always end in catch a tiger by the toe. My name is Toby. Hi. That's a good And there's two sides. It's black people and there's <laughs> and have got the racial slur was tossed about casually in movies well into the 20th century until it became part of the way of life. But it is not to be confused with Niger, which when you think about it, is definitively one nation with its similarly named neighbor Nigeria. You see, the only thing that differs between Niger and Nigeria is who colonized them. The expansion of French and British imperialism demarcated the line which would later become the modern Niger-Nigeria border. The French and English languages were implanted on each side of the border, along with cultural, social and political traditions. So, does this country have a racist name? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, as well as hit like if you found the video valuable. Every single video will make you realize just how much more there is to know about Africa. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.